Oh my gosh. Good afternoon, boss. Good I feel afternoon. really close here. I am so close. Like everything is like compact in our new work truck we bought, guys. Yeah, this is our new work truck. It's a 2021 Chevy Trax. Sh yep, Chevy Trax. Doesn't have a tow hitch on it yet, but you put a tow hitch on it, Kayla's gonna. I know. Around. Yeah, she was already like having a fit. So, um, I'm Rachel. If you don't and know, and I'm Carl. And you're watching Happy's Lawn Care and Landscaping. And no, this is not our work truck. <laughs> and no, we did not go to work today. We are doing work because I had to finagle. <clears throat> I'm a procrastinator, and I don't like doing things if I don't have to do them right away. If I had the silver truck up and new tires on it, not new if the tires were on it and I did the brakes, we would probably be not as far behind or we'd probably be a little better off. But I didn't do that. And as you know, the truck's been giving us a problem. We think it's the starter because we tapped on it and it started. Yeah. If it doesn't start tapping on it, we're going to just call on wait, start. Wait, wait, wait. It's not we think. We talked to my dad. Well, yeah, he says it's a starter. And he so. said it's the starter. And I knew and... if I tap on it and it starts, it works but we you know. it, we were just getting lucky you guys with when he was jumping it like i don't know what like and i was i guess the gods were like oh my gosh these people are too stupid to realize it's the starter so just start it for them <laughs> <laughs> no i knew it was either that or the battery because we had battery troubles last year <laughs> but they tested the battery it wasn't that and i was just hoping it wasn't the starter and we were putting it off and we weren't doing we're so anything busy. yeah we're so busy so i didn't yeah we didn't put we put things off yeah we do that we that's do put us. things yeah that's that's who we are we never said to watch our channel to learn how to have a great organized like this is how you need to do it we Where, use a program you want, to yes. keep track of our clients <laughs> i don't have a particular maintenance schedule on anything and knock on wood i don't have here for the most part in the five years of doing this business we've only spent 150 dollars on that truck even though it has a new transmission mm -hmm. new water pump new air conditioner everything mm -hmm. it's all been covered we told you guys always buy the extended warranty when you buy a new vehicle the silver truck obviously is a 2012 so that's just an extreme backup so we had a truck that wasn't broke you know it was working we were getting on sketch you know keeping up our schedule so you know we just didn't have the extra time but now that we need to get the silver truck back up and running so i've been running around i got all four tires on it again yeah two of them are one of them is a spare tire and the other their truck tires are mismatched um and then the only other thing is is because like the silver truck's been out of commission we don't have onstar on that one and i'm i can't remember how we can get it back on and like it's one thing us being stuck at the house it's having the trailer and stuff yeah you know, i don't want to be stuck somewhere with a trailer so so the moral of the whole story before <laughs> we go try to put the dream don't follow us for how to run a business like as far as like we take care of issues as they arise yes that is who we are we've got a lot going on we have four kids we are trying to make a lot of mini incomes everywhere so that it just makes our life easier in the long run yes so, so it may not look like we have it together but we kind of so do. don't follow us on that <laughs> follow us on when we do the landscaping and the mowing what we do there the detail and stuff like that so you learn stuff from there yeah don't, that's one, don't learn the other side of it that's uh, one of our goals is that you know we want to try to get rid of the astigmatism that you know lawn care and landscapers don't know what they're doing or um we shouldn't get paid what we're worth because that's not how we feel we yeah. absolutely feel that uh lawn care and landscapers should get paid what they're worth you a client doesn't negotiate with any other business no. unless you go to a flea market you don't negotiate with the phone company you yeah. don't negotiate with like your cable bill so you, you know so you shouldn't negotiate what your price is so that's what we do landscaping is we share our life and show you guys how to get what you are worth how to get the knowledge to deserve what you're worth you and know? one day we'll be more organized one day i'll have the maintenance <laughs> stuff up and going one day yeah i'll do this so uh, like i said okay. we we deal with stuff how 
one and of the buys is. And, and we've been doing that since we've moved here and opened the business in 2010. We've been dealing with stuff as it arises. If we can afford to get a new mower, hooray, we get a new mower. Yeah. But if we have a breakdown that year and we have to pay for a breakdown, then no, we're not getting a new mower. If we have to pay for a new trailer, then no, we're not going to do something else that we should have done. <laughs> yeah. Like, me, like, yeah, I don't do, yeah, definitely. Vice versa. Yeah. So, so yeah, we're going to go get this pipe now and we'll. Yeah, this will be fun. We'll figure so this it out. Is why we're sharing because we have to we do we want to still try to work this weekend and site one is only open on friday i don't know if we mentioned that and the silver truck will i mean it starts up it purrs like a kit my mechanic friend came over it runs good he said it sounds amazing he even said once i get he'd even think about buying it from me too our equipment's been really good to us yes so. and that's that's one thing i was saying in the five years we've had the red truck we've only spent 150 dollars and we've gotten what 100 and something as far as like any major maintenance in it and, and gotten us 100 and almost fifteen thousand miles and the equipment i don't maintain much of that i change the mower oil once a season um and all of them i'm not good on the hydros as some people do it detailed every 100 hours, every 500 hours. We don't do that, and we haven't had but one starter go, and that's about it. And then the no. hydro in the 36, but that was because something got caught up in the spindle thing, they said, and the hydro went, and we had to pay for that to be fixed. Yeah. So pretty good for, what, six years of all, since we've had all our new mowers in the truck, only spending that and then of course oil change maintenance tires yeah and, all and i don't i guess somebody asked about um belts too and i don't really recall we've uh, my walk behind i've only changed one belt in the 1200 hours it has yeah so let's go ahead and go before this closes i know enough talk so this is the pipe that we're gonna have to attempt to get into our little chevy track for today all right we got it nice nice we didn't have to tie it to the roof i know <laughs> the truck off to get looked at and I was so shocked that these trucks here are not as much as I they're thought they'd be. What we, what we paid for yeah, ours. They're about what we paid for ours. 50 I mean, grand for a brand. Maybe a couple grand more because we do have leather. We have all the bells and whistles. And the, the 2500 right there is 66. 66 yeah. That's not bad. It almost makes me want to trade in for like this black one here. Yeah. For something new. What's this one? That's a Z71, so that's why that's 64, but that might be. Oh, but that's what we have. So see, I guess they are a little bit more than. Oh, okay, do we have the Z71? Yeah. Good morning, guys. We are getting ready to go get rock. I've been waiting for the day that I could pick this strawberry and eat it. Nothing's gotten to it. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. See, we got four of them there, but there's a lot more coming. It's definitely a decent day out today. Before we go unload the silver truck and get rock, you guys wanna see my potatoes? These are ones in the 30 gallon. This is, I don't, I think that's a 30 gallon bucket. And then we have ones in 15 gallon buckets here too. I know this isn't the farm channel. I'm not putting anything up on there yet. So I might just mix up some of the farm stuff on this channel until I can really sit down and do a video on that channel. Look at all the strawberries. Amazing. And Rachel's gonna sell my strawberry plants. Ah, oh, what happened to this one? Say a little rodent got to it. I should have gotten it yesterday. That's fine, we share. So trusty started. I drove her all the way down the road for about two miles. Ah, oh. well, I guess we're not going anywhere yet. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. This is a tire with a cut in the sidewall. So let me hurry up and change this off real quick. Oh, that stinks. Good morning, boss. Good morning. As you see, we brought the silver truck out of retirement. Yeah. 
He's old trusty. We'll see if we get through until we get the red truck back. We should. I mean, she, he needs to be cleaned up. I did all the, changed the brakes in the front, got everything changed, the tires. It doesn't have the new tires on it. It has like three of the rims and then a spare tire mm -hmm. uh, just to get us going. We're going to clean it all up. The girls said if we clean it out, they'll detail it. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, he's, I, I obviously he needs some work because he's just a backup truck. Um, 131,000 miles. And I do want to put OnStar on it just in case, but I guess we'll do that. I'll do that later. How do you do that in this truck? I don't know. This, I don't even think this has OnStar. Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. You could push the button and try. Yeah, well, I think, but I'm obviously not going to do it right now. Yeah, but what if we break down? Well, I mean, not the second. I mean, do you want me to do it right now? No, no, we'll be fine. No. I drove it all around the block a couple miles. If I notice something's off, we'll turn around. We are going to go put a ton of stone in it, so. That makes me a little nervous, putting a ton of stone in it, but. Oh, I think a bluebird went into your house. Is that a bluebird? Oh, yeah. Is it? Oh, my goodness. Look at Fly away. Can you roll your window down this one? Oh. Is that both of them? What? Have they been laying in us and we didn't know it? Did you look inside there recently? No. There's two of them. Yes. That was one. And then there's another one in there, right? And it went, what did it do? Go to the apple tree? And it did look like another one went in it. I think it did. So I I couldn't tell if that was the bluer one, but I don't know. Do they yeah, that was the bluer one, the one that flew away. So males have like the brown belly or females have so. the brown belly? I think so. Is it not going to fly back? I don't think is so. Is it still on the apple tree? I don't. Oh, I think is, was that it? No. It's I looking know. for stuff to put in the house, I think. Okay, we'll check it out later. Yeah, we will. So yes, we are going to get a ton of stone for a project we're working on that you guys will see later on. I'm not sure when I'm going to start putting them up. We mentioned it. It's our secret project. Yeah, that is our secret project. We do have, um, I don't know, at some point, hopefully go back and do a little bit more with like the prep of, were we going to go do that today? Mulch? Yeah. Or did you want to mow? Yeah, we do have a few to mow too. Well, we'll see. So, we'll yeah. see what we're going to do. But you guys will see us either mow or prepping more, more mulch beds. So yeah, just we'll right see. now we're going to I mean, rock. it's not going to really rain. We haven't had rain in six days now, so nothing's really growing. And we only have... I know we have one that's pretty far behind, but he ain't going to say anything. And then we have to, this weekend, mow our bed. Without a doubt. Yeah, and I um, do want to actually get to him before it rains again. Cause... I don't think... So, we made it and got rock. So old trusty made it to the rock yard, got me and Jared through getting that yard of rock down, putting all the drainage down. You um, guys can't see that yet though. Yeah, you guys probably won't see that for another couple videos. I don't know. I gotta see. You might be getting more ideas on what's going on though. Yeah, so. what would we need drainage and rock for? Yeah. French drain? Maybe. We'll see. So we're going to get out and mow this one. This one we got a little behind on. So it is a little bit long. Than normal. Yeah. yeah. So. He's a two week account anyway. And then remember we got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. No, he's right? weekly. Oh yeah, he is weekly. I don't know what I'm Not saying. Not this time. He's 21 days now. Yeah. But we got rain and stuff like that. It's where you guys know Rachel drives through the mud and tears up the people's lawns yeah so we were pushed it off because we, we don't want to hear rain. you guys say oh my <laughs> gosh you're doing all that long. oh you're gonna say it anyway <laughs> so there's always somebody who puts out nice awesome comments about mowers and things like that like he my... knows about the issue the the client knows about the issue we've known about the issue for many many years and he doesn't care it grows yeah. back yeah. like in a week it's mm -hmm. what it is is it's the drain coming off the mountain and then there is a little drain pipe and it's supposed to then leach out into a natural drain and then it meets up with another little river type thing right coming here. Coming down right actually. in here. Yeah, coming right down into here um, and then going down there into like big drain. Yeah. So he knows about the issue. It could possibly be fixed, 
we don't we, have time really to do it right now. Well, and, right. I, I mean, we've cares. known about it for years, right? It's not, we've done other projects here at this house. It's not on his priority yeah. list. And we understand that because it's something that resolves itself, you know, once the spring rain goes through. And um, unless we stay extremely wet, it doesn't stay like that all year. So, and he, Rachel gets to go mud hopping. Mm -hmm. So, it just proves how how beastly that Z three X. Oh is. yeah, it's still the, um, the, the wide tires on that mower definitely make it so you can get through things. And again, we are not sponsored by Ferris whatsoever. We paid for those mowers; they are ours. Yeah. Um, and we do stand by them. My mm -hmm. mower, I have a pulley that's broken. That's still, the mower's still been mowing for a hundred hours with the pulley not even hooked. I'm going to get a new pulley and fix it. Yeah. But them mowers, somebody made a comment on the Tiki Talk thing about how me going up hills with my mower, the hydros will blow for sure and blah, blah, blah. Well. Thankfully that hasn't I've happened. I've probably gone up a hill a couple, probably about 6,000 times with that mower. So if yeah. you count all the mowings in the last seven years i mean it's not a cheap machine no so you would hope that it wouldn't blow like that and so. then you got other ones who say they can take their Standard. what is it their toro grandstand up a. it's almost i'd say about a 45 degree hill that i was well mowing. we'll show you guys again yeah. you guys have seen it many times on the channel yeah. but we'll show you again from a different perspective so you can really see yeah. but for now we have to get this one done let's go and then we have one other one and then i think we're just gonna work really hard on monday yeah monday tuesday wednesday and thursday <laughs> yeah. so let's go let's go you should pull that out and <laughs> yeah. plan it at home and we'll i mean it's easy. a little it seems a little leggy yeah, but it probably it's, doesn't it's get the best snow. Yeah. Best snow. <laughs> best sun. I'm thinking about snow. No. So there's the lawn. Look at all the hostas in here, too. Oh, yeah. And they're lost to this mess. And mm -hmm. this is where it drains, too. So yeah. we're going to go ahead and get this mowed. All right. Look at the mess Rachel's making, guys. She doesn't get stuck. No, I'm not weed eating all that. She made it.
okay, here's the last one of the day. I'm gonna get these ones so that you don't have to weed eat them. Oh, okay. So old trusty has made it through the day so yes, far. Let's you. make it home first though. Oh, and look, this is what I was talking about. How my mower, the pulley, it might be seized now. It seizes up, but it still spins. It's just not hooked to here. And I bet you it slows the velocity of the mower down too, but we'll get that fixed one day. One step at a time. There you go. You guys wanna see some mountains out there? Looks kinda of dark. Okay, we are done for the day. Not bad for a Saturday. Did some rock work, some mowing, a little bit of overgrown yards. An old trusty made it through it. Get me through another week. Somebody was slowing down. Look at your strawberry plants. Yeah, we're gonna try to get some stuff out tomorrow. You know what? We'll put it on this channel. What the what kind of bird is that? A red wing? Oh, you. there's a bluebird. Oh, I was no, that's a blue jay. Oh, is it? Blue Jays are fight. Yeah, Blue Jays are a little mean. Somebody decided to bombard my lawn with a seed. I know, sorry. Cause it, oh, it they're fell. getting along. They're like playing, bird playing. Oh, there was another. When I was out here watering earlier, um, I kind of, I'm not tall enough to really see into the house really well, but it looked like there was a lot of nest stuff going on in there. Yeah? Yeah. Nice, nice. Maybe so, we'll have baby bluebirds this year. That would be really fun because um, if you guys don't know this, bluebirds are one of the babies that like they're okay with people. So as long as the other birds don't scare them away, which I think is what happened last year or something happened. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know neither. They laid eggs and then they just left. Yeah. Left the nest. So, oh, there's the bluebird right there, I think. Oh, yeah. I think on the feeder, I can't see yeah. it's on the other side of the So feeder. yeah, the bird seed got wet. So instead of it just sitting in the bag, I just decided no, to- No, that was that black tipped one or red tipped one. Red wing blackbird. They're pretty cool. If you guys don't right. know, Rachel's a birder. I am not a birder by, <laughs> I just am very fortunate to be able to look something up one time and it like sticks in my head. So that's why like, Birds do interest me, butterflies, you know, all that stuff interests me. So if I see something that looks really neat, like I'll be like, ooh. And then Carl did buy the little bird and butterfly pamphlet. So I'm not going to lie. I did read it a couple times, but I'm not an expert by any means. Definitely not an expert. Just out of curiosity, I know a few. Nature. Nature is awesome, <laughs> yeah. guys. Yeah. I mean, it just, it's enjoyable and it makes you smile, so. So how was mowing that overgrown one that we mowed? Um, good. It was really overgrown um, and it was wet, obviously. We told you guys before we mowed it that it would probably be wet. Um, so it was fine. I mean, so we'll try to have to get I had to mow it on transport mode, of course. Yeah, we'll have to get back there in a week. It's a weekly account, but like we said, it got so wet, so behind. It got so wet, and we just were like, oh, let's just push it. Maybe it will dry out, but gosh, that was And like you've seen a it. Week. That's a week, right? Yeah, yeah a, week. a week. And it's still, oh. Not and... a week of growth, a week since we've had rain and it's wet. Still. Yeah, a week since we've had rain because he was we were going to get to them and then we had rain Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then we were like, okay, let's just push him. Um, because he, we knew he would be wet. And, oh, I wanted to tell you that actually, as I was, uh, mowing by the other, like overgrown area that goes into the other little river, uh -huh. there is a pipe somewhere underneath that ground in his yard because it comes out right there what do you mean a pipe underground where a pipe underground where we would put a french drain to fix that problem so maybe it just wasn't done properly maybe i don't know but there is one there oh, so cool so yeah that would be something maybe it's that, all clogged up yeah so that would be something that if we did ever um if he did ever say like he wants it fixed you would really have to investigate 
Yeah. Because, and we also didn't mention this before. Um, I think because some of it goes into like the HOA area, we probably would have to get an okay and all that stuff from the HOA. Yeah, for putting extra water it. down all mm. through their drain pipes. You guys should look into that. Don't just assume that you can build a whole new drain and then let it drain anywhere you want. Yeah. It could cause a problem downstream in a neighbor's yard. You just have to make sure. Be courteous mm. of other people, too. Yeah, for sure. So we're done for the day. Sure. Okay, guys. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy. Or at least try. Have, Have a, a good, good night. night.